Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, classics. Um, I'm going to talk about 12 classics which apparently I should read. So one of the things I've been ruminating on um, after Garb August is the the mix of um, the mix of books in my literary diet, um, and I've, I've mentioned this a couple of times in videos. But I I like I absolutely loved Garb August, but by the end of it I was craving something with a little bit more substance, and it made me think about the fact that when I look at my favourite books, so when I was looking at um, books I'd really enjoyed for the video I did recently where I talked about Booker and Pulitzer Prize winners, um, I realised that actually, whilst I love trash and absolutely you know, would never stop reading trash, I do often get a, a great deal of enjoyment out of weightier, weightier books as well. So those thoughts were kind of rumbling around in my head. Um, and then Michael K. Vaughan put up a fantastic video called 12 Classics You Must Read. Um, and Michael knows his classics and, and also I think has um, has great taste in terms of storytelling and things like that so I, I absolutely trust Michael not to recommend books that are going to be dull um, so I, I reflected on my thoughts and on Michael's video and decided that it would be a good challenge for me to try and read all 12 of the books that Michael talked about before next Garb August. So I think if my maths is right, that means I need to double up one month. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be a good way to enrich my diet a little bit, um, to experience some some classics. That, so a couple of these I have read, but there are you know 10 of them that I haven't read. Um, so to experience some different kind of foundational works that have had an influence on literature um, you know, since they were published. Um, and also just to um, just to give me something to think about and to report back on in terms of how I find these books versus the the trashier um, the trashier books that are part of my normal reading consumption. Um, so I'll, I'll go through the list quickly. I'm not going to talk in detail about all of the books, but I will link Michael's video, which if you haven't watched it, you should watch. Um, but there are there's a real range of stuff here. So there's some some like ancient classics. Um, there's you know Victorian stuff. There's crime. There's horror. Um, so there's a really nice mix of stuff there. Um, and yeah, and I'm looking I'm looking forward to the challenge um, of reading some of these. And some of these are I think very very challenging books indeed. Um, so let me go let me go through the list with you and tell you what the books are. So I'll do the the three ancient ones first. Um, are the Epic of Gilgamesh, um, the Iliad by Homer, and I did read. The Odyssey. So I studied the Odyssey when I was at school. Um, so I do know I, I have done a bit of Homer, and I have to say, studying him at school did put me off him. Uh, but everyone seems to rave about the Iliad, so we'll see how I get on uh, with that. I don't know very much at all about the um, Epic of Gilgamesh, other than I think it's Babylonian. Um, actually, there's four classics. So there's also then the Met Met put my teeth in the Metamorphosis by Ovid. Um, and the history of the Peloponnesian War by Thucydides. I think I'm saying that right. I just watched a video to tell me how to pronounce Thucydides, and that's how they said you should pronounce it. Um, so yeah, four ancient classics. Um, in terms of, uh, let's do the crime and horror next then. So we've got the complete Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. So I have read some Sherlock Holmes, but not by any means all of it. So very much looking forward to um, to diving into Holmes a bit more and obviously as a, you know as a fan of crime it's a bit wrong that I haven't read all of Holmes already so looking forward to that um, and then Frankenstein uh, by Mary Shelley in the horror slash sci-fi camp so I have read Frankenstein uh, I read it in I think I think it was in 2018 which I think was the 200th anniversary um, of it being published now Michael suggests that the version you should read is the original 1818 version, which I haven't read. So the version I read was the revised version that Mary Shelley published a few years later. So um, the 1818 version is more difficult to come by, but I managed to find a copy of it on um, uh, on Project Gutenberg. Um, so I will be reading that. And I would say I've, I've now got all of these books. Um, so I've either got them off Project Gutenberg where they were um, books that were written originally in English, 
um, or if they were books that were written in other languages which have been translated, I've taken Michael's steer um, on the right translation to, to get, which in some cases has meant that I've had to buy them. But I, I now have all 12 of these books on my Kindle. Um, okay, so the other modern books then um, are War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Um, so, yep, yeah, <laughs> I'll be reading that at some point. Um, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, which is, I think, of a similar um, girth to uh, War and Peace. Um, but both of these are books that are, you know, certainly people who've read them seem to say they were daunted going into them, but they were, you know, they were really gripping and entertaining stories. So looking forward to both of those. Um, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. So I, the only Dickens I have read um, is The Christmas Carol, or A Christmas Carol, uh, which obviously is a, a diddy one. Um, so yeah, looking forward to, to reading some Dickens. And obviously Dickens is, you know, Dickens was kind of a, a trash writer or certainly a populist writer of his day. Um, and, you know, wrote, you know, a lot of his novels were originally written as serials, um, which I think is definitely a, you know, a very populist form of writing. So yeah, really looking forward to that. Um, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, which I have read before. So I've actually read it twice. So I read it when I was at school and liked it. I read it more recently and hated it. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving it another go and seeing what my opinion is of it this time. Clearly, it's a book that many people adore and rave about. But equally, I think it's quite a, a divisive book. So I know a lot of people who haven't liked it as well. I think the last time I read it, I went into it with the wrong frame of mind um, and was a bit taken aback by the nastiness of it as a book so I think going into it again expecting that um, will be an interesting experience and we'll see what I make of it and it's not you know it's not a terribly long book so I don't mind rereading that one um, then we have the brothers Karamazov no I always say it wrong Karamazov um, by Fyodor Dostoevsky so another Russian book um, Looking forward to reading that. I do want to read Crime and Punishment at some point as well. Uh, but Michael's recommendation was uh, The Brothers Karamazov. So I will try that one first. Um, and then finally, I think it's finally. I think I've talked about all of them. Yeah, finally, um, Moby Dick by Herman Melville, which I was already planning to read um, this month, September. And I have, in fact, just finished. <laughs> I finished it yesterday. Um, so that's a big old book. That's like 650 pages of full on wailing. Um, so I will do a um, I will do a video on that soon. I will do videos on all of these books um, once I've read them. My plan is that I will do a classics video once a month um, on a Wednesday. So I will lose one of the Ask Criminalis um, from my schedule. So I will just do three of those a month rather than four. Um, and for one of the one of the Wednesdays of the month, I haven't decided which, quite which one yet. Probably one in the middle too, um, I will do a, a, a classics review instead and see what I make of these classics. And then when I get to the to the end of the, the 12 months, so just before Guy of August 2023, um, I will report back on the experience of, of reading all of them and you know how I found it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about um, this idea. Let me know if you've read any of these books. I'm quite interested to, to dive into some, uh, as I said, some weightier books um, and some classics and see what I make with them. Um, and yes, you can you can watch along with me and see how I get on. Should you want to, I may even do like reading vlogs and things like uh, War and Peace. You know the really big ones. Um, I might do uh, I might do some vlog posts for and kind of track my reading as I go through them. Um, so yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well. Hope you're reading good stuff, and I'll speak to you very soon. Cheerio.